Do bedtimes matter on a ketogenic diet? That is the topic of today, ladies and gentlemen, and that's coming up. What's going on, everyone? My name is Pete, and you are watching Pete Does Keto and Tries to Lose Weight. Hope you're all having a great one out there. If this is your first time on the channel, I would urge you all to subscribe and turn that post notification bell on to all, A-L-L, so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So, with that being said, if you're on a ketogenic diet, you should absolutely hit that like down below and let's get started. So, I feel like this is a very opinionated, maybe maybe a biased kind of uh, question. I'm going to say no. Bedtimes don't necessarily matter. Uh, however, everyone's schedule is different. Um, I tend to be a night owl, so I go to bed, you know, sometimes two, three, four in the morning, you know, because the job that I have doesn't require me to be up for nine o'clock. You know, usually I start work at around 11 or 12, uh, AM, you know, 11 AM to, you know, 12 PM. Uh, I do food delivery and stuff and I do YouTube, you know, as well. But, um, basically the, the, the you know, a doctor and, and most dietitians and people will tell you, no, you have to go to bed by a certain time and everything. Sleep does help very much with weight loss because while you're sleeping, your body is still burning fat, uh, burning calories. I, I think it's like 19 calories a minute or something I read once. Um, but for me, bedtimes are kind of whenever I want, you know, but because I'm intermittent fasting for 16 to 20 hours a day where I'm not eating and I'm only eating during a four to eight hour window, uh, my, my body's like really revved up at fat burning. So it doesn't really matter for me when I go to bed because I am intermittent fasting. But if you're not, perhaps the bedtime might be a little bit more important to you, you know, or more beneficial to you. So in the comments section, tell me your suggestions. Do you follow like a, a bedtime ritual, you know, where you're not a ritual, but are you on a schedule or does it change every day? Do you go to bed at different times? Let me know your story. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope you found some value in this video. And in case you did, I would, I would invite all of you to subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button and tapping the post notification bell to the right of it and select all ALL so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And with that being said, if you are on a ketogenic diet or you're about to start one, definitely smash the like down below. And uh, if you made it to the end of this video, which you did, leave a quick comment right now that says keto control. Go ahead. Leave a quick comment and see how many people do it. Anyways, until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Stay focused, stay motivated, stay positive, and most importantly, if you're going to quit, you're only going to quit on yourself. Don't do that. Don't sabotage all the hard work you've put in. It's just not worth it. So with that being said, stay healthy, be well. Until next time, peace out.